Hey guys, it's Tatum. Um, I feel like doing some makeup again, so we're gonna use all my project products again, and I'm gonna do another look with my MAC eyeshadows. Um, and I have everything kind of out in front of me this time, so I'm a little more, like, set up and prepared. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's just, uh, get into it. Um... I might need a mirror out of here though. So, I think I might just kind of like explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it today. Um, rather than it being like a get ready with me, kind of have it more be like a tutorial, but not really that serious. Um, so. I wasn't fully situated, <laughs> but now I kind of am. Okay, open my bag on you. First step, caffeinate. For some reason, I just love to Mountain Dew. <clears throat> Don't know what it is. So today I washed my face and then I toned and I have, I had a little bit of eye cream under. I let it kind of sink in. Um, I didn't put on any serum. I'm just going to do my moisturizer. This is my Neutrogena Visibly Even Daily Moisturizer with sunscreen SPF 30. So I'm going to go in with that first. <clears throat> and I use about this much. Kind of like the length of my... The length to my first knuckle. I don't know. <laughs> And then we'll just work it together. Apply that on my skin, get some on my neck, and don't pay attention to my red spots everywhere. I didn't really break out. I just kind of picked the shit out of my face. Because um, that's what I do. I'm a skin picker. Also, I think the Grande Lash is making my eyelids really red. But I think I can deal with that as long as if I see, you know, improvement in my lashes. So. Yeah, I just like Picked at everything because I'm crazy. Um, whoa, I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, so I have all my project items out, I just don't have like all my other stuff. So I'm gonna go in with a primer. Um, and I think I think I'm just gonna do a pore filling primer today, like no other primer, just my moisturizer. So I'm going in with my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer again. my nail and then get it on there and I push it up into the pores so that they get filled in so you can kind of see like this side compared to this side you can see my pores a little bit better on this side um, so do that here I'm kind of like rolling a little bit even and then my chin and here it is kind of go in a circle and do my nose a little bit and then my forehead kind of just the areas where I have more texture and more oils not like this is really mattifying though and I might mm, no I'm not gonna do it over there okay so that's our smoothing primer done and I'm going to use my oh it's 
put on my perfume because I didn't put on perfume yet today even though it's already like after five o'clock <laughs> but here and behind the neck okay I'm almost halfway on this so it's all dirty from my fingerprints um okay so let's do our watts up I'm putting this under because for me, for some reason, it does not look good on top of any other products. I like to do it underneath. Just use my finger and just for like warmth. I kind of blended that away. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. It's not meant to be that intense anyway. So I'm going to try out the concealer one more time today um and see what happens because i put on just a very simple um like clinique eye cream and um i'm hoping that that I'm hoping that the eye cream I was using with it, I was like a gel, um, was the problem. And if not, I will just throw it out. But I feel like, like I don't wanna just throw it out, you know? And it's hard to tell where this was starting. So I've been writing some different lines. Don't even ask me. Like this one is the one I did originally. And then today I did this one and this one cause it looks like this and it looks like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I'm not gonna, you know what, let's go in with this first and then foundation and then we'll go in with concealer again just because I want to see how this is even working and we're just gonna use a little bit today and I want to see what happens if this is the cakey, the cakey culprit. Okay, so... Um, I probably should use my corrector. I keep forgetting because it's not on my desk. Okay. Okay, it looks a lot better already today. I might do a little more corrector and a little more concealer after we put our base layer on. But it is looking a lot better today without that gel. No, it's really dry. Wait. Hmm. Because this one kind of looks okay, but I kind of blended it to nothing. And then this one, right here, you can see it getting into everything. So I'm just going to kind of blend it away almost. And after foundation, I'll just see what we can do with that. Because it's making me look dry. I thought it was okay, but... I think I might just have to throw it out. I think it might just be too old. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think garbage. So let's move on to foundation because <laughs> I know that I can 
do that. So we're trying to use up the NARS. I'm gonna mix it with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost, which I searched on Ulta and they don't even sell this anymore. I thought it was like, I thought it was still sold, but do I just have a bunch of old stuff? Probably. I'm gonna get like that much. It's probably too much, honestly, because I'm mixing. And then I'm gonna take some of this. I don't know how much. So, I've never used this one, this Neutrogena. And this is in the shade Nude 40. And my other one, the NARS, is Punjab Medium 1. So these two together oh they get a little lighter or the NARS one gets a little lighter that's better I'm just gonna kind of start with a little bit and then put more as I need it I do want to go for a little bit fuller cover, so I'm using my Morphe M439, just a buffing brush. Um, and just adding a little bit at a time, just so I don't go overboard and look cakey, because gonna be taking this off anyway but I still just want to have fun with makeup I don't want to like pile and pile and pile it up for this look whatever I'm gonna go for I have no clue <laughs> I think these are good mixed together losing my voice because I've been coughing so much <coughs> or it's like kind of scratchy um, the less I talk the better I the less I talk the less I cough um, so doing these videos I actually have to talk a little bit more but that's okay with me um, actually I did use all of that so I just need a little bit more of each <laughs> Here I am like, I'm gonna do light coverage. Well, I kinda wanna cover up all the redness that I made for myself by picking my face. So, um, wow, wow, wow. My hands are full of foundation. A little bit more of this. NARS, just a little. them together and take it on in a minute. And my eraser. I feel like I have more coverage over here now. Okay. It's probably gonna be another long video. I feel like something always has to not go my way. Yeah, my eyes are looking hella red <laughs> from that lash thing. Or I'm just... My eyes are just being like that right now. Who knows? One last time. Oops. The 
Maybe one more time. One more time. I don't know. That's not my real singing voice. I actually was trained cl classically as a singer. I sang in five different languages. I can't speak them, but I can sing them. Okay, so I think that's good for foundation. Um, okay, so let's pick a concealer that works. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use something else today because I've been using the same one all the time. So I'm going to do the, um, where are you? Yes. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I actually haven't used this in a super long time, so I actually bought it recently. I think I used it like once or twice. Um, this is in Light 120. So this is that spongy thing. I'll probably take this off at some point, but... Um, for right now I'll just use it just to apply and then I'll take it out with my finger And no corrector. <laughs> oh well. It looks fine, right? <laughs> so I really didn't put that much on, but I'm just taking my time to blend it out. The less product, the better, because you can always add, but you can't take off, so. You don't want to be in a rush and getting ready and then put on way too much of something and then you basically need to take off your whole face but you don't have time for that um because that's not good uh let's powder under the eyes <clears throat> i'm gonna use the covergirl advanced radiance in creamy natural um i'm kind of trying to use drugstore and high-end um, products in all these videos um, or switching back and forth because I don't want it to seem like every product has to be high-end but I do think that um, you pay for what you get when it comes to eyeshadow like um, like ColourPop eyeshadows are good and uh, I'm sure the that new Physicians Formula palette is probably pretty good too but like those little quads that you get you know like bigger palettes from higher end companies you get more bang for your buck I think um, you kind of get what you pay for with that um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do some powder my Patrick Star powder from MAC. Actually, I'm going to switch brushes. And for under the eyes, I was using the Morphe E8. Um, for setting, uh, I'm going to go in with this Sephora Pro Airbrush 55 for my powder. And just dust. I'm tapping into the powder, tapping into the cap, and then blending over the areas with foundation. So
and this is just personally what I like but um I do recommend if you are well for one if you're super oily you'd love this product um but if you're super oily you can use a bigger brush and kind of like push the powder in just to give a better set and then you can always go over top with a setting spray just to make it look less powdery but you know that you set it or you can go in with um powder underneath foundation and if you want to know more about that you can go to um jackie Ino's channel um because she has been doing that literally forever okay <clears throat> i'll take a little sip and bronzer so do we want? I'm gonna do this because I never use this so we're going between drugstore and high-end right so this is the Tom Ford bronzer in O2 Terra and this thing is ginormous trying not to blind you um I'm gonna use the Sigma Tapered face, F25. I'm gonna go for a little time because I forget how pigmented this is. Eh, it's about to be there. And you can see I'm kind of like getting color here, but I'm really blending like up here and kind of just going up and then a little bit of like back and forth and up here so because I have I have pretty much an oval face I would say um, so I like to contour here and here because I kind of don't have a super defined jawline, um, and I like to contour out my cheeks so they have more definition. And honestly, I could probably go without contouring my forehead because it's so tiny, but personally I like to have like warmth throughout my face, so that's why I do that. Um, but you should... Not everyone needs to contour the way that, not contour, or even, I don't really contour, I'm more bronze, but not everyone needs to put on their bronzer the same, because it kind of depends on your face shape. Um, Because if you have a super thin chin, you don't really want to contour that out because it's already small, you're going to make it look smaller. Um, so you, if you wanted to even out your face, you would kind of do more contour or bronzer um, to your forehead if this is thinner um, so that they would kind of like equal out and vice versa. Um, so you have like a heavy chin, you would just do that and then leave your forehead kind of. And then, you know, with bronzing. I guess you can kind of do what you want but it's personal preference but also face shape so <clears throat> I don't know why I feel like explaining makeup today and not just talking about stuff but I don't know I'm not feeling like talking about hot topics today <laughs> go under the lip for a pout over the nose
not too crazy, just like a little bit of a shadow there. Okay. Bronzer done. Now for blush, we know what we're gonna use because we're trying to use up my NARS Orgasm blush. Da -da -da. And my Morphe X Jack and Hill JH04 brush. Um, if you want to shop the regular Morphe line, it's just the E4. That's what it's comparable to. I'm gonna keep the blush back on my cheek and kind of go higher than my cheek. I'm kind of focusing up a little bit more um, just because I don't want to get it too low. So then as I come in with less product, I get a little bit on my cheek without smiling because I don't want it to move. So that way my face still looks lifted when I'm like this and when I'm like this. So And I've got super texture going on because I've picked so much so it might not look too hot today. But it's okay. And now for highlight. Let's use this. I haven't used this in forever. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Fine Gold 003 Pigment. This is when she first came out with her highlighting stuff. Um, and it was one of her like first products that came in the bag of sequins. Um, so this is kind of like a yellowy gold. This actually goes really good with the Orgasm blush. I'm going a little extra with that, even though my texture is uh, terrible, uh, atrocious. But I feel like putting glitter on top of it. <laughs> and then again, like I've been saying in other videos, um, if you don't want to highlight where you have texture, pick something super subtle like the hourglass highlights or don't if you don't want to. Um, and also try and if you don't want to go all out with highlighter, kind of try and focus on where the light is hitting you and try to recognize that and just kind of get it in those areas. But today I kind of want it to look glowy. So <clears throat> now we're moving on to eyes. <clears throat> and I'm going to use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot with a Sonia Kasha concealer brush that came in a set. We're going in the middle because we want to use it up. And I'm just going to prime my eyelids. I try to give you guys a little bit of a backdrop over there. A candle and my total waste of makeup sign. And an Anastasia box. <clears throat> I don't know. It's better than the angle I had that in the last one, so... And something else that's super exciting is, um, my mom got a puppy. Her name is Luna. She's an English cream golden retriever. 
So my dog Mila is kind of like a blondish color and she's like a quarter English cream, but this dog is like full English cream. So she's gonna stay like a super white color. And my mom's other dog's name is Latte, who you saw as a puppy on my channel, if you've been watching forever. Um, and my mom wanted another L name. So we were all like discussing L names and all of a sudden my mom says Luna and I'm like, oh my God, that's perfect because she uh, is like white, like the moon. Um, so I just thought that was so cool. And I was like, then Ryan was looking up puppy names after we already decided. And he was like, when I look up names, the first L name that comes up is Luna. And I was like, yeah, but it's probably because of Harry Potter. But mom doesn't watch Harry Potter, so. Or didn't read and didn't watch Harry Potter. So I was like, who cares? It's a cute name. And now she has Luna and Latte. Latte and Luna. And we have Mila. So Mila and Luna kind of sounds cute together too. Um, I'm gonna set my primer with, uh, I'm gonna do it with, um, Aura Matte from the Tati Beauty Palette. And let me know if you guys want some looks from certain products I'm talking about or I don't know anything that you're interested in seeing maybe watching these super long videos is boring but I'm having fun just playing with makeup and being on YouTube again and it's helping with me um, like from the inside out so, I don't know, it's just making me feel better. Um, and I know I'm kind of being quiet, but <laughs> um, I'm just, I don't know, happy to be posting videos again. Um, so we're going to use our MAC shadows and I'm going to go in with, let's start with soft brown. That's a classic, right? right there that soft brown that i'm gonna put in to my crease with my jaclyn hill morphe jh36 and there's mila barking so i'm really just gonna diffuse this color out windshield wiper motions i'm sure you guys have watched a billion makeup videos at this point but this is a good just base shade for light to medium skin tones it tends to be a little bit um to turn a little pink on fair um skin tones i try to stick with like cool tone transitions and like i don't know just cooler tones on very fair people um because if shades even have like a slight bit of warmth it'll just like their eye will look pink um not their eye, their, the shadow colors will look more pink than brown on some people, so. Like this Going Coconuts shade Culotta, I feel like that one might work really good, or anything that's like a lighter, a lighter brown with like <clears throat> oh, brush hairs. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep this brush and I'm gonna 
in with Who are you? Saddle. So we've got saddle right there. A little bit of a <clears throat> darker and slightly warmer brown. Uh, okay. Going coconuts again. Let's try and keep it simple for this look, like I was trying to do for the other one, but that didn't work out. And I did end up taking the eyeliner out of the trash too, like the concealer. The concealer's staying in the trash now. <laughs> We're not gonna try to use that up. That thing is, I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm not messing with it again. It's made me look so dry. So again, just kind of deepen that up a little, same technique with this brush. <clears throat> and now, I'm gonna go in with Swiss chocolate. No. Yeah. No, and bark. I'm gonna go in with bark, which is this top one. Right there. Just for a little bit of a deepening shade. Not taking very much product. Just very lightly. a little just very blended I'm really not even trying to make it really look like anything just give a slight definition like barely like you can barely tell on a side to side but it's just like just there <clears throat> And then let's do a different lid shade today. So I used all that glitters last time. So let's go in with Come on, you keep it so many times. Honey Lust from MAC. Again, obviously. 
the only one that's not MAC in here, I threw Vanilla Bean in here because I love that shade from Makeup Geek, but I bought the new Matrix palettes and the Vanilla Bean is not the same as the old Vanilla Bean, so this is my old one. Um, I was kind of confused by that, uh, why they changed that, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna use my MAC 239S for my lid shade, I'm gonna use Honey Blessed. is the nice everyday like champagne -y gold honey gold <laughs> honey lust yeah that's really pretty everyday color Takes a little bit of building, but if you put a sticky base under it or use some Fix Plus, I'm sure it'd be fine. But I kind of like that it's sort of subtle without it. Also, that Tom Ford bronzer kind of looks like a blush on my nose. It looks really like red. Like when I'm up close in this mirror, I'm like, why is my nose red like Rudolph? So yeah, just packing that on. What is this? Oh, I guess that's a scalp. Could be a beauty mark. So, I'm going to go with the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with, um, what do we start with? Soft brown. I have one palette on my lap and one palette over there. Because I kind of have like a three mirror setup. I have this mirror, then I have a Tati mirror on top of something, and then my light up mirror. But, I don't know. I kind of have to have mirrors like up to my face to see what I'm doing. Because, I don't know. I'm weird like that. Like, I feel like I used to do makeup from so far away in a mirror, but I'm like, I need to see detail. And I do have my contacts on today. But I just like to see up close and personal. <laughs> and I've kind of been doing the same, like, techniques with all the looks I've been doing but just kind of um different levels uh let's go in with embark again they can flip over okay just a touch right in the outer So there's that. I am gonna go in, however, with Vanilla Bean from Makeup Geek for my brow bone highlight. Why do I keep closing this mirror? I don't know. <laughs> so. I 
I really don't even know if you're going to be even able to tell that it has a sheen to it, but it's very like, almost like translucent with the way it goes on. I mean, obviously you can pack more on, but I kind of like that it's like super subtle. Like I don't like to really like, bam, highlight my brow bone all the time, but the shade's just really nice. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. Then this one off. Like no extra product on this brush. I'm just kind of working on my hand and then just a little bit of a <laughs> okay. Done with eyeshadow. Moving on. I am, however, going to try this stupid eyeliner again. It is Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. And I'm gonna try to do a thin line with this today. And yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm trying not to like put it this way. I'm trying to keep the end up because I'm sure that's why it keeps drying on me. Or it just does that. Oh, 